Steve Carell and Donald Gleason star in this therapy session that gets quite out of hand quite quickly. It's time to talk about the patient. So what can I help you with, Gene? I'm not content. I get angry. That's the sort of thing you help people with, right? Yes. Hello and welcome to Screen OD, the channel for people who love TV, movies and streaming. My name's Tim. I'm an editor and a journalist who has been writing and talking about the media industry for more than 15 years. And today we have a great drama for you in the form of The Patient, which is airing in the US on FX, which I think you can watch on Hulu. And in the UK has just been released on Disney Plus. So there's no excuses for not watching it. My whole life I have been trying to figure myself out so I can help other people understand themselves so they can have good relationships. And here I am. Time to get back into therapy. Okay, so what's this one all about? Well, the patient focuses on a therapist called Alan, who's played by Steve Carell, who is taking a break from some of the comedy work that he's done in the past to do yet another fantastic, dramatic performance. Now, he has a patient who is called Gene, or so he thinks he's called Gene, who is played by Donald Gleason. Now, they have a therapy relationship, which you know, frankly, isn't going amazingly well. It feels like Gene isn't really opening up about things. And then one day, Alan wakes up and he is chained to a bed. Now, what's going on? He is in some sort of kind of basement place and he appears to be somewhere out in the forest. Now, this room that he's in has a window that looks out into who knows where, but when he screams, no one can hear him. And then he finds out that that patient who he thought was Gene isn't actually Gene. I want you. I want the expert. I'm not normal. I need to get better. Anyone who has come this far, who has made the choice to come to therapy and keep hammering away at the hard things, they can be helped. But I have got bigger problems. Gene isn't Gene, Gene is Sam. And Sam hasn't been telling all of the truth to Alan when they've been in therapy because it turns out that Sam is actually, well, he's a serial killer. And he wants to have a very long therapy session with Alan to help him cure the compulsion that he has to kill people. Now, this isn't the ideal background for a therapy patient relationship, but it turns out that Alan is not gonna have a great deal of choice. And so it begins. I have a compulsion to kill people. So should I tell you more about my life? We are focused primarily on the therapy relationship between the pair, but also we start to learn more about the outside world through flashbacks about the life of Alan and the fact that things are certainly not perfect in his life in therapy or in his family. And we also start to understand more about what has brought Sam here and what his motivations might be to be doing the terrible things that he's doing. The Patient is just really a good idea for a show. It's a high concept idea for a show, but it works and it, it could not work if it had not been crafted carefully. I think it needs two things to make it work and both of them are there. One is a fantastic script and you've got that. Um, and you've got that in abundance and it needs to be good because the way that things play out, especially between the two central characters in this very bottled environment, needs to be well put together. The second is that the two lead actors have to have fantastic chemistry and they have to always be on their A game because there's nothing to hide behind in this one. A lot of the show is this relationship between them. Are these paused moments, are these these breaths, these these thoughtful pieces of acting where it's about body languages as much as about what you say. Successful therapy requires a safe environment without anything like fear hanging over every session. Ah! 
Joel Fields and Joe Weisberg are the people behind this show who are the people who are behind The Americans, which, if you haven't seen, is definitely a show in a similar genre that you should be checking out. And this is a show that isn't afraid to explore areas of religion, of history, and of things that go on in humanity that aren't always things that people want to talk about. And certainly through the flashbacks, through the relationships in the family stuff, this this comes out and this comes out in the relationship between the pair as well and that's why this is more than just a psychological thriller it's more than just a 10-part drama that will have you on the edge of your seat because it will uh, it creates an atmosphere but it also is thoughtful it's carefully constructed in order to be able to talk about themes that sometimes aren't talked about or may make people feel uncomfortable but it does it in an intelligent way and it does it in a way that I think works very well as part of a show like this. It's interesting when you see people who perhaps were first better known for comedic performances like Steve Carell when they move into dramatic performances sometimes they bring even more depth to roles like this than people who've always just done drama and I think we see that certainly in Carell's performance here. I think the other thing that is required in a show like this and you definitely get from Donald Gleason, is that your character who is the serial killer who has essentially triggered what is an incredibly weird unusual and unpleasant situation has made the high concept become a concept he's not too much of a caricature of a serial killer. You don't mind eating while we talk, do you? No, Sam's character is quite understated in many ways in the world of serial killers on screen. There aren't kind of obvious quirks and tropes to this characterization that you might see in other films or television shows that explore areas that are similar to this. And I think that's testament, again, to some really quality writing in the show. If you're a fan of drama and you like really good characterization, fantastic performances from central actors, but also a show that just has something that feels a little bit different to it, I think The Patient is definitely something you should try. This is a show that definitely feels different to a lot of things in this genre. And it has a concept which is interesting and intriguing and a story that really does start to unravel both for both characters. And I think that's what's interesting about it as well, is this isn't just about someone coming to a therapist who is a rock who is going to unravel their story over here. This is about two lives, two people's experiences, two people's pasts, backgrounds and futures coming to a head in a very, very unusual environment with some fantastic ideas around them. The Patient is available to watch right now in the UK on Disney+. Plus, and if you're in the United States of America, you can watch it on FX as part of Hulu. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, why not hit that like button and subscribe to ScreenOD for more videos. We'll see you again very soon.